Ah, good morning. Welcome to your unique devotion for the day. Today I'm going to read uh, 2 Peter chapter 2. It's long, so I'm just going to hop right in here and get moving and hope that my eh, tongue keeps on working. So, you got listening ears. Here I go. But there were also false prophets among the people, even as there will be false teachers among you, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the Lord who bought them, and bring on themselves swift destruction. And many will follow their destructive ways, because of whom the way of truth will be blasphemed. By covetousness they will exploit you with deceptive words. For a long time their judgment has not been idle, and their destruction does not slumber. For if God did not spare the angels who sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness, to be reserved for judgment, and did not spare the ancient world, but saved Noah, one of eight people, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood on the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them to destruction, making them an example to those who afterward would live ungodly, and delivered righteous Lot, who was oppressed by the filthy conduct of the wicked. For that righteous man, dwelling among them, tormented his righteous soul from day to day by seeing and hearing their lawless deeds. Then the Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations, and to reserve the unjust under punishment for the day of judgment. And especially those who walk according to the flesh, in the lust of the uncleanness, and despise authority. They are presumptuous, self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignitaries, whereas angels, who are greater in power and might, do not bring a reviling accusation against them before the Lord. But these, like natural brute beasts, made to be caught and destroyed, speak evil of the things they do not understand, and will utterly perish in their own corruption, and will receive the wages of unrighteousness as those who count it pleasure to carouse in the daytime. They are spots and blemishes, carousing in their own deceptions while they feast with you, having eyes full of adultery, and that cannot cease from sin, inciting unstable souls. They have a heart trained in covetous practices and are accursed children. They have forsaken the right way and gone astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Beor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. But he was rebuked for his iniquity. A dumb donkey speaking with a man's voice restrained the madness of the prophet. These are wells without water, clouds carried by a tempest, for whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. For when they speak great swelling words of emptiness, they allure through the lusts of the flesh, through lewdness, the ones who have actually escaped from those who live in error. While they promise their liberty, they themselves are slaves of corruption. For by whom a person is overcome, by him also he is brought into bondage. For if, after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled in them and overcome, the latter end is worse for them than the beginning. For it would have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than having it known, known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered to them. But it has happened to them according to the true proverb, a dog, a dog returns to his own vomit. And a sow, having washed, to her wallowing in the mire. That's the end of chapter two. My tongue seemed to work pretty well. <laughs> 
Um, on that note, as, as always here, just in just this chapter, there's a lot of stuff there, a lot of imagery. If anything stands out to you, you know, think about that today, but just ingest it. If you need to, rewatch the video and uh, re-listen to the words. Break out your own Bible, reread um, that entire chapter, and try not to get too caught up on anything or any one word. Just sort of ingest it. Let the imagery just sort of start, because we're going to go back later and break it down, and I'll, I'll share my journey. <laughs> So on that note, another note, uh, tomorrow will be chapter 3. That will end the full reading of Second Peter. This is a fast one. And then we'll start breaking down, as I had said. So I hope that God gives you all the blessings you deserve today. And even more so, all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day.